One of the gravest mistakes of the tech industry is always looking forward, but ignoring the foundations that have guided us for millennia. One of the core tenets was developed in the Middle Ages when developers would take short breaks to practice sword fighting during longer compilations. It brought them amazing cognitive advantages. So let's bring that to the 21st century. In most jurisdictions, it's actually illegal to cross swords, so we're gonna have to make do with crosswords instead. A quick search on the dark web shows us a potential candidate, and yeah, cool, this will do. But nowadays nobody compiles anymore, no, we build, we deploy, we roll out. So let's start up our development environment so we can keep track of what all our services are doing, and let's write some code now to connect our crosswords to the development cluster and get us real-time telemetry on whether at any given moment we should be sword fighting or not. Uh, okay, now some key variables, red and in progress. And the rules here are pretty clear. If there's red anywhere or something broken, then I need to go and fix it. Otherwise, whenever something is building, deploying or in progress somehow, then I should be sword fighting. Uh, okay, so let's finish up here. And I'm just gonna add the, the states. So waiting, active, terminated, and let's handle some details. Okay, and we're done with this part. So now I can hotwire the game directly into my development cluster. So if I'm not supposed to be playing, I can block some key presses and pause the game. And okay. Right, now the most important bit, we're also gonna do some trick here, which is we're gonna revolutionize outside the box ever so slightly. And okay, now I'm gonna fake a rebuild and failure to see if it catches me. Uh, how many words can I get in before it stops me? False. Uh, data. Unit. Oh. And that's how you bring the past to the future of software development. So the slower my builds, the more I can play.